everybody that stays at the lodge this year is going to get a really good treat yeah because you got a chef and you got all the meat you can eat it's unreal meat uh the yeah what up y'all welcome back to another one Woo! what a lovely summer day it is june and it is humid the old grass check it out real quick before we get going here look how look how good she looks uh-huh lots of rain lots of humidity while we were gone uh in hawaii i hope that y'all like that video it's kind of just a goofy family vacation video you know but we're getting back into the swing of things as you can see a lot happening all new rock i will be doing a full lodge update video got a lot happening right now and uh, i just want to do it in sequence so i can keep you guys uh just right along with the entire story uh, it's a lot of fun right now, and I figured that I would bring y'all along on today's video. I originally uh, was like, yeah, I'll just go pick it up, and we'll just go about our day, but I wanted to uh, just show you guys the process. I think that a lot of us, I don't know how to put it, Midwesterns, I guess, a lot of people, a lot of ranchers, a lot of normal folk, even living in suburbs and cities, still love to buy farm raised beef and they and they like to buy it from where they know it's coming from right so what i'm getting at long story short we got the lodge and this season it'll be much larger than last season last season was insane but this season it's gonna be even insane er if that makes any sense honestly though i'm trying to get prepared for this season uh we got a bunch more clients this year uh and we got bert y'all know bert y'all have seen him in a few different hunts and catch cook clean videos you know hunt cook clean whatever you want to call it bert will be here this will be his spot the lodge and the kitchen this will this is bert's spot right here and uh, i'll tell you he is excited gerald myself the boys preston we couldn't be any more excited because bert's cooking is amazing what i'm getting at so I'm trying to prepare for all the food that we're going to be cooking here at Sand Hill Flyway, my lodge. A lot of you guys know about my lodge. We've been getting some new subscribers through the summer. So some of y'all may not know about the lodge. Real quick rundown. This is my hunting lodge that me and Gerald built last year. It is here on my, on my property. You guys will see all of it if you haven't. Um, these are some of the old decoys that y'all have sent to... The P.O. Box. I wanted to remind you guys, we still have the P.O. Box up and running. It's always linked down in the description below. You can send anything to the lodge just as long as it's appropriate, legal, safe, you know. But enough blabbing. Uh, yeah, I, so I bought a steer uh, from a local farmer and a farmer that I actually hunt on, that the clients actually hunt on. Um, bought one from him. I was going to last year, but last year we're only supposed to provide, I'm gonna give you some background here, one meal per three nights that the clients will be here. That was last year. This year, we're providing all meals. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, three days. So there's a lot more food output from us. Bert's gonna be cooking and just getting down, just doing chef things. So I wanna make it as easy as possible before we get there. I don't wanna go buy all my meat from the grocery store because it's going to end up costing me a bunch of money now when we get back from everything we need to do i will go th through the prices of what i paid for this beef and how it could save you some money and how much it's actually going to save me in the long run let's go i gotta buy some freezers well we're at lowe's we are at lowe's god i love your truck dad got a brand new 2500 i love it and what's your one out of ten chance that they're going to have what we need well, how, what do you think? A five. A five. 50 50, huh? Yep. I say a 50 50 is a good shot. I'm going to give it a three because, due to COVID, the last year of, well, no, I should say the last four months of trying to find any appliances on hand anywhere has been a joke. So, we're going to go try to cop at least one giant freezer, absolutely huge, to hold a whole steer or two smaller ones. Let's see what they got. 
This is a sign. This is the face, not a sign. This is the face of one sweaty waterfowl hunter that don't like 100 degree weather here in Kansas. It's so humid, I can't see straight, but check it out. Woohoo, we got it done. So last year, we ran out of this freezer, and this freezer right here, she's a good old girl. That's actually Jordan's, he donated it. Actually just letting me use it. We may, may not even need it anymore, but check out the two new beauties. Got them back to back, uh-huh. Oh, oh, come on, beauty. Huge, these are 18. 0.5 cubic footers got two of them and they're sweet now i know that i'll have plenty of room for storage for this uh steer that's coming as you can tell yeah the shop it's not my shop anymore it's decoys hunting everything's for sand hill flyway i want my shop back so when the two containers get here uh, i'm gonna bring y'all along and we're gonna set them up together and get this place all cleaned up and and take you along for the ride of you know all the updates that i'm going to be doing here but this was the main thing uh if you can what do we got so i'll go through the prices real quick i found these i'm surprised they had these big shout out to lowe's uh 649 a piece yeah that's 1400 for two freezers right but uh, right now i think roughly very very like roughly i'm gonna have about I'm gonna guess like 3,000 or a little better. Somewhere around there, I haven't even figured it all up. In my steer, so that's for the initial buy of the steer, which was somewhere 2,500 or 2,000, I can't remember the exact price, it's been so long. Uh, but then about $800 for the processing fee uh, and then the two freezers. So just for the meat right now, I've got a bunch of money in. But the, the freezers, We'll use, them, we'll use them annually, you know what I mean? And I think that we're going to have a bunch of extra room, which is nice because with Bert this year, Bert will keep us stocked up on everything. Pork, chicken, vegetables. We're going to be eating a ton. Like I said, here at the lodge, uh, we're providing all three meals every day. And the dinners are going to be epic. They're going to be nice, every single one of them. So got to have the room for the food. Uh, this one here. We usually freeze clients' birds. They want to freeze birds uh, to take them home to mount, so on and so forth, but we're good to go. I'm gonna let them freeze. Uh, I gotta let them freeze up before I go and put thousands of dollars worth of meat in it. I'm not just gonna put them in there. I, I, I'm sure the meat is froze right now at the uh, processors, but I don't want to chance it. We're gonna give them 24 hours. Hopefully they're ice cold by tomorrow this time and we'll go pick up roughly a thousand pounds of steer and we're gonna see all the cuts i had it all custom cut no way look what the wife did beth came through dawn vinegar bleach baking soda she got the stain out of the table wow gerald and i thought thought that we were gonna have to sand her down wow well way to go for the wife Where's she at? She's in here cleaning somewhere. Wow. Can't I believe it. you did it. You just started scrubbing? Yeah, I was like, I know I have to have something in here and I didn't have any vinegar or baking soda, so I went to the house. But first I used just some Clorox or some uh, Comet. Yeah, Comet, bleach. baking soda, vinegar. Well, first I just did Comet and then it was kind of working a little bit. So I had some dish soap worked. Did then you I use it off with the baking soda and vinegar and that really Did you away. use a Scotch Bright pad or something? No, I, just, I needed like a toothbrush so to really get in the grain. Oh. So I think I'm gonna go back with that because there's wow. a little bit of red. Uh we just had Bodie's birthday this in here. Awesome. Just had Bodie's birthday in the lodge and some somebody left a puddle of slime. You know the slime, the kids slime toy that the woods loved it. Uh usually all parents hate slime. If you see slime in your house, I suggest it go straight in the trash <laughs> because I thought it wiped out our table. I felt so Same bad way. when Gerald found that. Oh, I did too. That's why I sent him a picture just now. I was like, oh, he was pretty happy. Got it. Gerald found it. And if oh. you can imagine, Gerald built that entire table from scratch. Him and Eric. Big shout out to Eric. And uh, the it's yeah. the ultimate table. And he came across, he's like, uh, what's that? And I'm like, <gasps> yeah. what so, is that? we good to go. <laughs> it's the next day 
Dad and I. <laughs> Was that a lot more than you figured? We just lifted a 1,200 pound cow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's right at 600 pounds of meat. But 600 pounds of frozen meat, this is what it looks like. This is an entire steer, y'all. An entire steer. Like I said, it's the next day. Uh, I wanted to wait until my ice boxes were frozen cold. And here we are. We're going to start organizing it all. Uh, the thing is, I think it all will fit in one freezer which will be nice we can organize it really nice for old Bert Bert is the cook this year and when he sees this he's gonna be so happy he actually uh, made the um, uh, specification list like how to cut everything how thick to cut the ribeyes how much hamburger we wanted so when he sees this he is going to his, his jaw is just gonna drop um, I'm going to get to putting them in here. As I grab them, I'm going to show you everything that we have. It's unreal. A little bit of everything. Everybody that stays at the lodge this year is going to get a really good treat. Yeah. Because you got a chef and you got all the meat you can eat. It's unreal meat. Uh, the mills this year, that was the plan. So <clears throat> this whole video is based on the fact that, look, I spent a bunch of money for this, but it's for the clients. This cow is a... Uh, raised here uh, on, a, on a farmer that we'll be hunting on and I just think it's uh, awesome to keep a local business keep your money local um, invest back in your community and provide awesome awesome food big shout out to Andy old farmer Andy for getting a hold of me and asking if I'd be interested in purchasing an entire steer I'm glad I got a whole one well I tell you what even you know th th that hunting season I'm a janitor. Yeah. I'm eating here this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dad, uh, he helps me take care of the whole place all all winter long, but we're going to get uh, packing and stacking this. If you all do this at home, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Um, I think we're going to have 300, 300 and some clients. I, at first, me and Beth were trying to figure out if this was going to last all season hey, it's going to last and i think as long as we made one of one of their three nights so you got to think we're running for four months three and a half to four months and one of the three nights that you'll be here you're definitely going to have a really large meat dinner i think that it'll last if we do that i think it will that this is a lot of meat it's a ton if i blow through it next year i'm buying two steers but we'll see what you got there these are beef briskets. Those are some big ones. I will make sure that I'm here when these are cooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to start loading her up. I think we're going to put all the hamburger on this side, all the big briskets and everything on this side. <laughs> Isn't that unreal? So that's it. That's, that's this is the 18.5 cubic foot. And I thought I was going to need two, like you all know. Look at that. One full cow and an 18 and a... 18.5 cubic foot freezer now you know i didn't know now you know it barely fits one whole cow what do you got there these are t-bone steaks yep four and huge like ones four if you can even see that on the camera look how, how thick i'm taking these home <laughs> uh preston and brad will be here in a little bit i'm gonna let preston choose what we're eating tonight but we're gonna cook something here yeah you want to get it thawed out yeah um look at this big old pack of t-bone steaks man look how thick those are uh what are the other one? Oh, look at these sirloins sirloin steak look how big those sirloin steaks are <laughs> unreal unreal where's that uh oh there's the ribeyes yep there's ribeyes there's t-bones ribeyes look how thick those ribeyes are well bert you did good on your cuts that's for sure because well i tell you what you know this is the first time we ever bought a cow yeah and even the the processing plant even threw in the the bones for soup yeah they they asked if we wanted soup bones and Bert wanted them. I don't know what you do with soup bones. What do you do you, with soup bones? You put bones? them in like a, a slow cooker when you're making uh, a, either a stew, yeah. something like that. It gives the flavor in that stew. Uh -huh. All right, let's get to cooking here real soon. I'm, uh, I'm hungry now. Oh, I'm starved. <laughs> this made me hungry. Well, we're not at the lodge anymore. We're definitely not in Kansas 
anymore fellas and gals check this view out this is uh my boat right there wade's boats in there and then this is the lake cabin i am at lake of the ozarks in missouri and uh wade my buddy you all know wade and love him uh he rented a house and we're just having a little dual family a uh, little three-day deal uh actually getting to use the boat which is really cool i wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what we got going on here getting ready to do some magnet fishing already done a little bit of it and it's awesome there's so many boat docks around here this is our own personal boat dock check it out but look at this lake absolutely gorgeous i guess i hope you guys learned something from today's video uh buying a whole steer it's got its benefits uh and it's also got its drawbacks it cost me 1500 bucks to go buy two more freezers now i actually needed them anyways so didn't like i'm out any money so uh if you guys have any questions about the steer if you have any uh input of what i might need to do next let me know uh but check it out here's the beauty yep i'm actually getting to use my boat like really getting to use my boat there's wade's boat uh-huh awesome we have been having so much fun out here and how cool is this i'm not used to this type of stuff having your own dock like this i'm serious i really didn't grow up on a lake i didn't do this that much but this is awesome get ready for a magnet fishing video coming from our personal dock get ready for a video from lake of the ozarks thank you all for being here uh those of you that have booked a hunt for this upcoming season y'all are in for a treat an absolute treat you know what's coming uh you've seen it now great food we got to still buy a lot of treats a lot of a lot of breakfast stuff a lot of vegetables like i said if you have any input drop it down below thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell right down there it'll notify you when your boy uh, uploads there's only like 47 percent of y'all that have actually hit that button so let's get it up like past 50 percent but have a good day y'all until next time